So we got in there and um, yada, yada, yada. It's still broad daylight because it's summer. It's outside. And the place holds 10,000 people and maybe like, I don't know, 35, 40% are in there. Maybe 20% are sitting down. The rest are walking around trying to find their seat. And Voss goes out and brings up the first act, who I'm not going to name his name because he got bo- He went out there. He was from Philly, had all his family there and all that type of stuff. And it's not Dom Irera, if everybody keeps guessing that one. It was broad daylight. He goes out there and just does his act. And within, I don't know how many minutes, <laughs> he starts getting booed. And, dude, everybody backstage is just going like, oh, God, in their own way going, it's, yeah. it, it's going to be one of these, yeah. right? And I'm looking at the list, how far down the list am I? <laughs> this is how it's starting. So he goes out there, and, like, by the end of his act, it was this core group of people that started booing him, and then it got a little bit bigger. So there was probably, like, maybe like a 1,000 people just chanting, asshole, <laughs> asshole. And this guy was so deer in the headlights, he just ends his act with, like, as they're chanting asshole, he just goes, thanks a lot, you guys have been great, good night, right? <laughs> and gets off stage. Had an absolutely stunned look on his face. And I went up to him to try to console him, and I was kind of doing that, too, dude, while kind of laughing because he had this stun, like, what the fuck was that? So then Voss goes out. Voss goes out, and he starts doing time. And you got to understand, Voss is doing time in front of a a crowd that's sort of going in. I don't know why we started it. Maybe it was one of those things you had to be out of the venue by a certain amount of time. Yeah. These people were getting fucked up and they were still throwing footballs around and were walking <laughs> into the stadium and Voss starts trying to do his shit, which was impossible, dude. Yeah. It was like this bright sun. It was ridiculous. So they start turning on him and he and he goes, hey, he goes, you know, watch your mouths or I'll bring so-and-so back. And he, oh, yeah. and he shit on the first guy. And to me, he just turned the keys over to the crowd where they do the Caesar thumbs up, thumbs down, <laughs> which, is, which is the vibe Voss likes and the vibe I don't like, right? <laughs> so, dude, the, 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 li- the, the lineup was insane. Like, it, Tracy Morgan, Patrice O'Neill, Ralphie May, I think Bob Saget, Robert Kelly, Dom Irera, myself, Opie and Anthony, and Jim Norton closing. Yeah. So, people, I don't know. Like, what's his? I mean, I, I knew something was fucked up when Tracy Morgan went out, and he was supposed to do fifteen to twenty, and he pulled up at about seven minutes fifty seconds in the middle of a bit, just stopped and went, "Thank you, good night, God bless," and just put the thing down. And you know that deal, dude. You do those uptown rooms, yeah. They boo in those, and you go into the black rooms enough, you can feel a boo coming, yeah. And he was just looking around. It's this, like he saw the he saw the o- the ocean go out, and he went, "Oh, there's a tsunami coming, guys!" Smartest fucking dude in the night. He he looked at this bunch of crazy drunk white people. They're not gonna remember if I did seven minutes or seventeen. <laughs> yeah. God bless. I'm out. Put down the mic and fucking walked off. And then uh, Ralphie did his thing. Patrice did his thing. Bob said, "I think Patrice closed out the first half." And then they had a break. And at this point, now the sun's gone down. And now it starts to look like the apocalypse now, like bridge scene that you see on the, on the YouTube video. <laughs> and um, what happened? They showed a video in the middle. Their video in the middle during the intermission was some guy had an ear infection. And somehow he dribbled some of the stuff out of it. And then another listener drank it. And then somebody watched who was watching it threw up in a barrel. So that was the uh, let's all go to the lobby <laughs> moment. <laughs> <laughs> of that show. So then the second half started. Bobby went out. Bobby went out and killed. Had a great... Because one of the big myths is that everyone was bombing. They weren't. Patrice killed. Ralphie killed. Uh, uh, Tracy went on early. Tracy, the sun, was going down. So yeah. he he was the smartest guy. He was doing fine, but it was starting to be like, all right, already. Like that... You just... The, there's no way to you had people sitting on grass. There was lawn seats. Yeah. In broad daylight watching stand up comedy, and you're this fucking big, and then there's a big, and they're hammered. It was an impossible situation. So Bobby came out to start the second half, and he killed. And then Dom went out, and Dom fucking A level material, standing there delivering it. And uh, about three quarters through his set, 
the boo birds started coming back. Now, nobody is booed since the first guy. So yeah. let's end that whole myth. And the first guy went on around 7. This is now around 9.45 at night, which is always great. You yeah. know, yeah. let's do a three, three and a half hour comedy <laughs> show <Yeah>. <laughs> outside. Outside. Have a drunk people that, what could go wrong? During the change of day to night. <laughs> oh, yeah. <It's, laughs> so Dom, about three quarters through his set, they started, the boo bird started. And he just stood there like eloquently. And he just, he just said, you know, he goes, I'm not leaving. He goes, what, why would you think I would ever leave? And it was just almost like philosophical. And they were kind of like, oh, yeah, what, uh, what, what were we thinking? And they kind of <laughs> kind of stopped. And then, uh, and then he ended a set. He ended it on a good note. Um, and at that point, I was, I was annoyed. I was just annoyed because I was sitting there going like, this is one of the greatest comedy lineups that I've been, as far as up and coming guys that I've been around. Yeah. And these fucking people are, are treating everybody like shit. And, you know, and I'm a defensive fucking angry dude anyway. So it was just kind of the perfect storm. So I walked out there not even nervous. I was like, these guys don't even deserve a show. Fuck this. What the fuck am I even doing on this tour? So basically I did the reverse of you praying. I went the completely other way. I walked in there like I was walking into like fucking Vons to go buy a fucking chicken breast or something. You know, like uh, I had no nervousness. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they introduced me and the fucking whatever, a curtain or whatever I walked out from behind. I looked out and I just I was like, oh, my God. So I was like, fuck, what joke am I going to do? So I, I did the first one and it wasn't working. So I bailed on it. And then I did this next joke, which I didn't realize they were playing as the radio promo, so everyone had already heard it. Uh. I don't know what, dude. I didn't want to do the show at that point. So really, them booing to the level that they did was my fault. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't a professional. What I should have done was I should have kept my head in the game to survive it. So I came out and threw gas on a fire that was already <laughs> going, and I pulled up halfway through the second that second bit and I said something like oh what you guys aren't going to laugh at that and then it was just this thunderous oh. boo and I basically I just snapped because I didn't want to be there and I just kept thinking the whole time backstage going I didn't have to be here Yeah, I could have been in a place in front of 150 people that wanted to hear my jokes I would have made 10% of what I'm making tonight and I would have been happy Yeah, I don't fucking need I've done this. I've been humiliated. I've had enough shit thrown at me. I'm 15 years into my fucking career. Whatever. The, what was it? 06? 14 years into my goddamn career. Okay? I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> okay? 